Hello, my name is Dr. Getty Chimeka Anyawoke. I am an infectious disease physician and I practice in Baton Rouge and Gonzales, Louisiana. Today's date is July 1st, 2020. And this is another update on Coronavirus Disease 2019, also known as COVID-19. Today, our topic is COVID-19 treatment at home for the simple case. However, before I talk about the things that we need to take in terms of medication, I would like to briefly talk about our immune system because it is very important for us to have a good immune system to fight the virus. You see, our immune system needs to be ready at any time to take on any infection like COVID-19. When a virus like COVID-19 attacks our body, our first line of defense is our immune system. Our immune system needs to wage the war with the virus while we help ourselves with good nutrition. We also help ourselves with good medications and other supportive care to help us get through the infection. If our immune system is not strong enough, we may lose the fight with the coronavirus or any other infection. So what are the things we need to do to build our immune system before the infection happens? Our immune system is the aspect of our body that fights infections to keep us healthy. Immune system needs to have adequate response to be able to fight and defeat infections such as COVID-19. While some people with other diseases like diabetes and kidney diseases and other diseases may have issues with adequate immune response, there are ways that we can use in maintaining a healthy immune system. Adequate nutrition is essential for optimizing the immune function. We need to eat a balanced diet, and the balanced diet is consisting of fiber-rich carbohydrate like rice, yam, cassava. This can constitute about 25% of our diet. Proteins like meat, beans, chicken, fish, dairy, milk can consist of another 25% of our diet. Good fats like oil and others can take about 10% of our diet. The most important part of our diet should be more fruits, vegetables, and other similar things like that, that should constitute about 40% of our diet because we can get a lot of vitamins and minerals in the fruits and vegetables. From our diet and supplements, we can get vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin C, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, folic acid, and other necessary components of normal immune function like trace elements, for example, selenium, copper, zinc, and others that can help us function better. Regular moderate exercise is important for our immune system also. We need to do stress reduction as a form of healthy living as chronic stress can bring down our immune system. Vaccination is also a form of healthy living that will help our immune system fight infections like COVID-19. However, we have no vaccines at this time for COVID-19. Now that we know the things we need to do to build our immune system, what are the things we need to do if we get infected by COVID-19 virus? Now, majority of the people that will be infected by COVID-19 will either have no symptoms at all or mild symptoms. And this is about 81% of the people. These are the people I'm talking to right now. Again, as a doctor, my advice is to call your doctor or to go to the hospital. Disclaimer, I am doing this video, specifically this section on humanitarian grounds, giving people some tips on what to do if they cannot get care wherever they are, especially in remote areas, or they cannot be seen immediately 
by the doctor. Again, this is mostly for the people in Nigeria and perhaps other sub-Saharan African countries where they cannot easily get to a doctor. Let me reiterate, I am giving these tips on humanitarian grounds to help people with mild cases of coronavirus disease 2019. Now, what to do is, what are the symptoms you have? If you have your taste and smell that has been affected, there's nothing much you can do but to wait. If you're having fever, headache, body aches, you can take Tylenol, you can take paracetamol. If you were already taking ibuprofen, do not stop. Continue taking it. If you're already taking aspirin, continue taking it. If you have cough, take cough syrup. Again, treat the symptoms. Now, maintain good nutrition. Eat a balanced diet and drink plenty of fluids. If you have sneezing, if it's persistent for about seven days, you can take any of the following antibiotics. Doesn't mean you should take all of them. I said you can take any of the following antibiotics. Augmenting anywhere between 500 milligrams twice a day or 875 milligrams twice a day. You can also take amoxicillin. You can take 500 milligrams of amoxicillin three times a day. If you have azithromycin, you can take that 500 milligrams once a day for five days. There are other antibiotics that could be available that you can take if you don't have these. They are tetracycline, which you can take 500 milligrams twice a day for seven days. You can also take levofloxacin if that's what you have, and it's 500 milligrams once a day for seven days. Or you can take ciprofloxacin, 500 milligrams twice a day for seven days. Now, for people that have moderate to severe cases, like if you're having shortness of breath, I advise you to call your doctor immediately or go to the hospital. If you cannot immediately get admission into the hospital, at least get an oxygen monitor to check your oxygen saturation until you can be admitted. Please do not take chloroquine on your own. We have so far not proven that there is any beneficial effect. However, we know it can cause harm in our hearts. Please do not treat yourself with chloroquine as at this time. For those of us that have not gotten COVID-19 yet and want to prevent it, please let us practice frequent hand washing for at least 20 seconds with soap and water. If water and soap are not available, please use hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Clean and disinfect frequently touched surfaces. Cover your face with tissue when coughing and sneezing. Please observe social distancing of about six feet or two meters. If you are sick, please stay home. If your symptoms worsen, follow the directions of the NCDC or your local health authorities. Please avoid close contact with people who are sick, especially if you are older, like you're 65 years old, and you have other medical problems like hypertension, diabetes, asthma, heart disease, lung problems, and other medical conditions. If you absolutely need to go out, please, please wear a face mask or face covering. Do not use a borrowed face mask or share your face mask with other people as you may get the virus that way also. Please, there is no need for you or anyone to panic. What we need to do is to know what to do. Let us stay safe. Let us keep in touch with our families. Let us keep in touch with our friends and our communities to prevent depression from all this social isolation. For more information, please visit my YouTube channel, Wellness Care Incorporated. Again, I am Dr. Getty Chimeka Anyamwoke. I am an infectious disease physician and I practice in Baton Rouge and Gonzales, Louisiana.